So welcome to Glee. Thank hey. you. Has it been a crazy ride already with the fans? It has. Yes. It has. I don't know if you've experienced it yet. <laughs> like um, the fans face to face. Oh no, nothing face to face. Um, that'll that'll freak me out. I know. Um, but yeah, it's been all kind of through the media and Twitter and stuff like that, and that's that's pretty aggressive in itself. Mm. You know. For me, it was it was my first time to New York a couple of weeks ago, and um, obviously being with Leah. She has got some of the craziest fans out there. And I remember we started filming, oh, we got to set at like 8 a.m. and there was like 20 or so fans waiting outside the bus, outside the makeup trailer. And um, whenever she, whenever they got a little side of her, whenever she stepped out of the trailer, there was just screams everywhere <laughs> and flashes. And in the morning, I mean, you don't want anyone to be taking pictures of you in the morning. So yeah. I had my sunglasses on, I, I, I laid low. But um, yeah, I got to see it face to face. And have you been hearing a little vocal reaction from the Finn and Rachel fans who've been a little bit uh, worried about what Rosie's yeah, presence Twitter will be? reaction. There's a lot of them who don't like, don't like me already. Is that frustrating? Because they haven't had the chance to see you yet. So they don't really know what the character is going to be You know like. what, I think it's, I, I, I think it's, it's kind of funny, I mean, to, to read. They, okay, let me tell you so, something funny. I, the other day on Twitter, I read um, somebody, some girl wrote me, I've got to warn you, I'm, I, I, like, if you get in between Rachel and Finn, I'm going to hurt you, with a cartoon gun <laughs> after the sentence. <laughs> and I was like, wow, these people are serious. They are hardcore. Oh, my goodness. You're getting threats. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Well, hopefully there will be some fun stuff ahead for the fans to at least appreciate. Yeah. I mean, have you guys had the chance to interact on screen at all? Because I know it's the New York and McKinley, but has there been a chance yet? No. No. We're Is campaigning for a duet. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I think you guys should start your campaign basically here with all the media. Be like, you can do that. You guys, okay. let's make this work. Yeah. We're going to probably Kitty put together some choreography for the next, you know. <laughs> She's an amazing dancer, by the way. Just, we haven't had the chance to see you, really. Yeah. So up your Moves. Yeah, second episode is one a big uh, dance number with Brittany and Kitty, and just dancing next to Heather Morris is like, I mean, she really keeps you on on top of it. She she's insane, and you know, just being able to do that is is pretty incredible. And singing is that? Yeah, in the cards. Yep, it's in the cards coming up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't wait. It's it's. I've been in the studio twice now, and. Uh, I grew up uh, recording stuff in the studio with my band, and it's it's a it's a place that I, I f actually it's a place that I feel most comfortable in the world. The the rest of the world is you're 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 closed off to the rest of the world. It's it's such a safe place. It's quiet. It's um, you know usually I would like light, light, light candles or turn the <laughs> turn the lights down, make it nice and you know romantic in there for me in the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's I've I've loved recording the tracks. I've loved the tracks that we had to record as well so far. 